Welcome to tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create multiple forms in C Sharp. Um, this is probably going to be my last tutorial as I only really wanted to teach you the basics. Um, I may um, create a more advanced tutorial in the future but for now I'm just going to um, do, do the complete basics of C Sharp and then maybe convert these videos into C++ as well. Um, so first of all I'm just going to show you um, we've got two forms, and um, it's our primary form here, called Form 1, and the code here, the code window. Um, we want to create a second form by going on to Project and clicking Add Windows Form, and create a new Windows Form, which should come up with a new design window here. So let's first of all, let's go and see what the program does. Um, it's a form window. Click on this button here, and it produces me a second form, as you can see there. Um, I've added two buttons onto the form, OK and Cancel. So when I click OK, it produces a message saying the OK button was clicked. Let's show you that again. Um, another thing, this is called a modal form. Um, the user is unable to um, click onto the first form unless they're finished or close this form here, so let's cancel, now I'm able to access the second form. So let's go look into the code. Um, first of all you want to create a button called um, new form and double click this button to bring us into the our event here. Up here, as we see, I created a global variable for this form. Um, it outside of the um, I put it outside of the button code. I put the form two outside of the button code. Um, as it, um, if I left it inside the button code, each time I click um, new form, it would keep producing multiple forms. So it would go one, two, three, four, five. How many times really uh, click the button? So we put it outside the. We put this. Um, variable here outside of our event to stop the user producing loads of forms unless you want to produce loads of forms um, you can um, put inside the form in, no, inside our button uh, code so basically I've created a new class called um, form2 and, it's, uh, and assigned it the name of form2 which is equal to new form and new form2 basically this produces a new form onto our program so it um, recognises for two forms basically which is very important we have this code here um, then we click our new form button to show it on form 1 so if form.2 referring to this dot if form dot show dialog um, is equal to dialog result ok um, produce space to produce a message box which is ok which is saying that ok button is clicked if you've seen in my earlier videos, you should know what an um, if statement is and how to produce a message box. So basically, show dialog basically creates a modal form. The show dialog produces a, a modal form and stops the user from accessing form 1 unless they've finished using form 2. So that basically creates and produces a new form when the user clicks the uh, new form button. And if the dialog result, so if basically if the user, this code here, if the user clicks OK on form 2, produce a message box called produce a message box saying OK buttons clicks. Then we go on to form 2. We've got a form 2 code. As you can see, I've got two buttons, OK and cancel. And then we'll zoom in again. Basically, it's saying this dot, dot dialog result is equal to dialog dot. Okay. Basically, this is assigning the um, the buttons some values. Basically, this is saying that the OK button is equal to OK, so it has the um, properties of an OK button. Therefore, the, um, when the form one is able to recognise that it's OK, and basically assigning 
um, the properties from the cancel button to uh, the cancel button on our form. And that's really basically only what those two um, form to. Let's go through it again to show what this means. We click, we click on new form, we start our new modal form here, we click OK, we use our message box, new form again, cancel, cancels the close of the message box, and, we click this, and that is it. Hope this tutorial helped if you have any queries or any um, questions about this tutorial or anything else regarding programming and computing. Uh, to leave me a comment um, and remember to um, comment, uh, rate and subscribe and um, thanks for watching